I take the opportunity to jump on a quick plane and visit my friend over in Benidorm. He's actually spending Christmas here, uh, as do lots and lots of Britons, escape the, uh, the cold weather and spend Christmas over here. It really does feel like summertime. It's absolutely fantastic. You see the occasional tree, the decorations, uh, the cards on the windowsill, and hear the Christmas music. But apart from that, uh, you could be in the middle of summer here. So in this episode of Literal Lifestyles, I'm actually gonna be doing some things that I wouldn't have done in the middle of summer when it was too hot. As you can see, the sun is out. It's a beautiful day here in Benidorm. I could definitely see why people actually would pick to come to this holiday destination over Christmas. It's time to head up to the Town Hall, where we've been told there's a Christmas market, festival and fair. The Town Hall acts as a doorway to the Da Aquilera Park. The building is colloquially known as the Floor Scraper. Just at the side of the Town Hall, which is over there, they've got this lovely Christmas market. It's fantastic. There's a big stage here, so obviously there's going to be acts on here. Lots of Christmas installations here, including a giant chocolate sort of pyramid and uh, it isn't really chocolate. A uh, train, Christmas trees. I've seen my first proper real Christmas tree here. I was actually getting worried. I thought everything was gonna be artificial, but there are real ones. In fact, there is one right behind me just here. I've even found an ice rink, which is tucked away underneath the offices for the council. Shall I have a go? Uh, I'm gonna break something. Nah. You might think I'm in Monte Carlo or Cannes, but I'm not. I'm here, still here in Benidorm in the harbour, um, we've decided to actually go over to Peacock Island, Benidorm Island, to actually have a look and see what it's all about over there. Some amazing views of Benidorm and the huge mountain range right behind it. The lighting is absolutely incredible today, so I think we're going to get some fantastic shots on camera, which is going to be fantastic. Bango's our trip on the boat to Peacock Island. We did try, it's uh, just turned one o'clock, but apparently because he had one person on the earlier boat, he stopped now, that's it. Finito, very abrupt, a bit rude to be honest. After the disappointment of not getting onto a boat trip, we decided to treat ourselves to a visit to the next town along the coast, La Albia. Joe and myself have jumped on a number 10 bus from Benidorm, which has brought us all the way out to Albia and we found this lovely little classy restaurant, wine bar, to have a nice beer. It's nice to be out at the madness. Bus journey takes about, what, 40 minutes, Joe? You just walk down the hill, there's a lovely beach, nice restaurants, big Dutch community here as well. So if you like your shrimp waffles, this is the place to come. Anyway, we've just had these lovely little tapas things. They were frankfurters with on bread with a little bit of sauce, very nice. After our light lunch, we decided to head back into Benidorm to explore the market. The street markets are very popular and can get very crowded in the summer. One of the biggest is held in Rincon beside the Hotel Pueblo and is open early every Wednesday and Sunday. I love this market, you can get anything, including flamenco dresses. Just what I've always wanted. It gets really busy here in the summer. It's not too bad today, to be honest. It's not as bad as what you um, thought it was gonna be, is it? I've seen quite a few present ideas actually, actually, but I don't want to put this video on before Christmas just in case everyone thinks I've got their present here at the cheap market. What about this onesie, Joe? I've oh, got to get these slippers. Look at these slippers. Babala! Hats, hats, hats. Joe, you have to get a hat while you're here in Benidorm. Are you gonna get one of these, Joe? How much mm. is this, please? Five. Joe, you must get one. No. I'm, a, I'm after a nice green dress for St. Patrick's Day behind you. I've never seen so much tack in all my life here, but some of it's really good. Um, lots of leather, if you like your leather. Handbags, purses, wallets, bracelets, as well as your traditional Spanish gifts as well, fantastic. Well, that's it for this vlog. Um, Christmas in Benidorm is definitely happening. Speaking to people last night while they're actually spending Christmas in Benidorm, well, some people said they just can't face cooking. Their family has got so big and they just don't want to cook. They just wanted to escape. Others just get a bit of like winter sun. Some other people, just something different to do over the Christmas holidays.